How much allowance is that? That's an allowance of $625. Uh-huh. That's just about what the Chevrolet man said. And I've always been satisfied with my Chevrolets. You do a lot of your own driving, don't you, Mr. Thaler? Yeah, well, most of it. Then the additional comforts you get in the Ford truck will be interesting to you. Our cabs have all the comforts you expect in a passenger car. For example, the Ford truck has a thick, springy, rubberized hair padding that can't mat down or pull apart. And besides these advantages in driver comfort, safety, and convenience, you get the ruggedness for long life that Ford's always been noted for. Compare the clutches, for example. The Ford truck clutch has 20% more facing friction area than the Chevy. That gives you a good idea of the general overall difference between the two. The figures I quoted you, Mr. Thaler, are on the six-cylinder engine. But for those long, high-speed hauls of yours into the city, what you really need is an eight. Chevy doesn't make an eight. Ford gives you a more flexible choice of power plant. Now, here's something else I'd like you to notice. Think you did any good there, Joe? Yeah, I do. I'm sure of one thing, though, you can't hurry a man like Thaler. He'll think over what I told him, and he'll study that catalog. And of course, uh, I'm going to keep in touch with him. Where'd you get all that dope about trucks? I'll show you when we get back to the office. There you are, Herb. The dope about trucks. The data book, truck selector, and all the rest of it. Look it over if you want to, while I go see what it'll cost to get Bullard's 46 Chevy fixed up for the used car lot. Okay, Joe. Well, looks like we can swing a deal with Bullard if he'll go for a four-door. Boss okay? Boss won't know anything about it. Not until Bullard signs the order. Kind of sure of yourself, aren't you? Oh, I miss sometimes. Calling that prospect Dick gave me. Who's Dick? The bird dog we met on the street this morning. Hello, Miss Jasper. This is Joe Thorne with Jack Swift, the Ford dealer. I understand you and Mr. Jasper are thinking about buying a new Ford. <laughs> that new certainly does get around, doesn't it? Well, I called to tell you that we have a customer for a model just like yours, and we can make you a very attractive trade-in allowance on a new Ford. If I can come over and talk to... Oh. Well, when will he be back in town? I see. All right, then I'll call you on Friday. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Is that another prospect? Yeah. This is a competitive owner. I try to call at least five every day. Hello, Mr. Freetag. This is Joe Thorne with Jack Swift. Oh, you did? Well, I should have been more on my toes, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, it won't happen again. All right, I'll call you back in about 11 months. Yeah. Oh, but uh, bring your new car in for service anyhow, will you, Mr. Freetag? All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. Oh, sure, Mr. Charters. Plymouth's a good car. But the new Ford's got a lot of features you don't get in the Plymouth. Yeah. Well, you don't want to do anything until you at least drive the new Ford. I'll stop by your house tonight about 8 o'clock. Okay? Fine. Thanks a lot. I'll see you this evening. Well, that takes care of the competitive calls. Let's go get some nourishment. That sounds interesting, too.